Buenos dias, mis amigos. Real quickly here, I want to play uh, just a little game with you. And I want you to imagine that the Jews over in Israel are today God's chosen people. Okay, and then just imagine that, if you will. And I want you to listen to this parable that Jesus gives us in Luke chapter 20. Then he began to speak to the people this parable. A certain man planted a vineyard and led it forth to husbandmen and went into a far country for a long time. And at the season he sent a servant to the husbandmen that they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard. But the husbandmen beat him and sent him away empty. And again he sent another servant, and they beat him also, and entreated him shamefully, and sent him away empty. And again he sent a third, they wounded him also, and cast him out. Then said the Lord of the vineyard, What shall I do? I will send my beloved son. It may be they will reverence him when they see him. But when the husbandsmen saw him, they reasoned among themselves, saying, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, that the inheritance may be ours. So they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. What therefore shall the Lord of the vineyard do to, unto them? He shall come and destroy these husbandmen, and shall give the vineyard to others. And when they heard it, they said, God forbid. All right. So, you know what this is talking about, right? This is talking about the Jews, how they kill their prophets, and then they kill the Son of God. And thinking that they're going to get the inheritance, yet the inheritance will be given to others. And that's to whosoever believes in the Son. Right? So it's amazing. <laughs> so, d just by that parable, you, you don't want to be one of them. You don't want to be one of those that kill the Lord Jesus and are contrary to all men. So, to me, it's interesting. It's obvious. It's obvious that those people in Israel today are not God's chosen people. The inheritance belongs to them that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. They are the chosen of God. They are God's people. All right. And then I guess so. Uh, uh, just one more thing here. And he beheld them and said, What is this then that is written? The stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. Whosoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. It's interesting. Here, the cornerstone, if you think of a pyramid, it's got four corners on the bottom. Okay, so, but, the stone which the builders rejected, cannot be on the bottom because if it's on the bottom then it can't fall so it has to be on top and it's interesting that we have a pyramid over in Egypt that is missing the head of the corner and whosoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken that's the good guys but on whomsoever it shall fall it will grind him to powder. That's the bad guys. Okay, that's it. Have a good day.